The teaching of Arabic language in Israel, whether in the Arab or in the, Jew, the Jewish sector, is influenced by several crucial factors. The first is the change in the status uh, of Arabic in 1948, from being a dominate language sub, uh, substratum into became, becoming a dominated, dominated language, the substratum, in the Arab, Arabic speaker sector. The second factor is the fact, the fact uh, that Arabic is the language of national and minority in Israel and should be treated as such. This talk will not discuss the, 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 the statistical information regarding the teaching uh, of Arabic. Rather, it will examine and analyze several issues related to the process which the teaching of Arabic in the Arab sector in Israel is currently experiencing. I will begin by illustrating, by um, presenting several facts regarding uh, students' achievements uh, regarding the teaching of uh, Arabic in uh, the Arab sector of Israeli uh, education system. Then I will discuss several reasons which have led to this to this situation. Finally, I suggest um, uh, ways to bring uh, about change. I should begin by stating that my talk today is based on my own reflection over the years. I should so also say that I do not bring good uh, tidings. One can use uh, many terms to describe the level of Arabic uh, languages, language uh, teaching in uh, the Arab sector uh, in Israel. The mildest for them will be crisis. By crisis, um, by crisis, uh, I mean um, that for many years, not only has the teaching of Arabic not been progressing or uh, improving, but the education system has not even maintained some, of the uh, maintained some of the achievements of the past. In fact, and especially in the secondary schools, the teaching of Arabic in the, in the in, is in a state of uh, constant regression. The regression can be measured by several parameters, which illustrate uh, a very warning picture. One parameter is the average score of the Arabic-speaking pupils in the uh, Arabic Bagrut matriculation uh, exam, exams, um, this figure is about 60% and this score is about 12% lower than the uh, equivalent um, test uh, for Hebrew language as a mother tongue. A second me measure is <coughs> the verbal section of the psychometric entrance uh, examination for Israeli universities. While many Arabic-speaking uh, students attain high score in the English section of this uh, exam, their scores uh, uh, on the verbal section, testing native language abilities, is in generally much lower. Is is, is uh, much uh, <coughs> lower uh, generally. The third parameter is the Mitzar test, um, school efficiency and growth measurement, administrated in grades um, five and eight. On this measure, the abilities, the abilities, um, excuse me, the abilities of elementary school children, especially general knowledge and reading comprehension and writing abilities, are lower than the national average. Another management measure used uh, to quantify students' literacy uh, in, the, in the international OECD uh, assessment progress uh, in international reading literacy study, PILS, according to PILS, Israel placed, uh, places 11th among the uh, 45 countries participating in the study, but only when Arab students' score are omitted. When students from uh, Arab sector are included, Israel fall, falls to the 32, uh, 40, 42nd uh, place. When only the scores of Arabic students are included, Israel place, uh, places 42nd out of 45. A fourth parameter is, uh, is entrance and uh, eternal exams uh, to Arabic uh, literature, uh, language and literature departments in the universities and colleges all over the country. Many, many applicants from the Arab sector fail this exam these exams. The third, the, this high to, di to digest information demonstrates a deep crisis faced by Arabic language and its teaching in Israel. 
For my experience both, both as a teacher and as an individual, I see several reasons for this crisis. Reason, uh, uh, these, these divide into the three categories, uh, those related to the Arabic language and those related to the teachers and pedagogy and those related to the ecological environment. Reasons related to the Arabic language as, uh, as used in Israel. The deglossic nature of Arabic leads uh, to inherent uh, difficulties for young students. Before uh, attending school and even afterwards, they usually have very little encounter with the written language, the fusha. Even, even once they, they start uh, their studies, they learn uh, or use fusha uh, in all, on only a few occasions. None, nonetheless, the difficulties in acquiring the written language do not end with the problems brought about with the diglossia. There is also a nationalistic political difficulty. Arabic is the language of the national minority in Israel. Therefore, young, young, Arab, young uh, Arabic speakers uh, are also under the strong cultural influence of the majority uh, culture in Israel. These two specific issues, we should add to, to these uh, two specific issues, we should add a global uh, change in the local language such as Hebrew and Arabic. Such a change has been brought about, the, uh, uh, brought about by the media and new technologies uh, which influence the language used by uh, young people. I'm referring to the language of social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, and chat rooms, blogs, and so on. Written Arabic in the Fusha has a very small part in the life of the young people. In fact, in fact, they need to learn so many other languages before it. The first language is the spoken Arabic. The second is Arab Hebrew. Arab Hebrew, if you Arab Hebrew, is a code mixed variety of um, a spoken Arabic or and Hebrew. The, this language has a growing influence over various age uh, groups uh, among the Arab. Uh, Arabic speaker uh, population in Israel in many spheres of life. If you look at the, uh, at the PowerPoint here, you can see. Uh, please, I, I need maybe I will need more. Uh, just one minute. If just 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 hear me, hear me reading this, please. Okay, and see the mixture here between Arabic and this. Is, I took this from the, a page of uh, uh, of young uh, young 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 uh, uh, like people talk in the Facebook. اهلا وايش يا طيب شو الوضع ان شاء الله كل شيء بسيدر والله احيي الوضع على الهطنين وشو تصير يا زلمه انت لو تامين بكفيك اللحظ شيء لو يؤمن وقت شو في وقت شو في فهمني اخوي بك تصور انا اسا بتكفات مفحمين حفلات تعزوبك تعزوبك ها يا زلمه كل شيء مستدير بالاخر ان شاء الله يا يا دود وغيره ما كوري والله يا انا من التعليم العبودة and so on and so on. Okay, so you hear the Arabic and the, the Hebrew together. Okay, and the, the, another language, another language, Arab English, um, the language of the internet and the media. This combines uh, uh, Arabic with English. See, I can, I, I can read here. Look, Ana Bahib I love the, uh, the Arabic. Okay, see it? They use uh, <laughs> the seven for the ha. There is no ha in he, in in in, uh, in, uh, in English. So they, they and no 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 ra. So they use the three with. And and also uh, here, اللغة العربية مسكين إخسار. Okay, uh, pity the, the the Arabic is uh, poor. Okay, so. That's how they, 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 read, they write in the, in the chat. And the Hebrew, which all inhabitants, uh, all, all, all inhabitants of Israel must learn in order to become part of Israeli society and to be able to work outside the Arab sector. English, an international language which, with, with, which all educated people need to master. And then, after this long list of uh, rather complicated and conventional languages, we finally arrived at the, uh, at the last one, the language of poetry and literature, literary Arabic. Its position in the last place, after all the, la the other languages listed above, 
demonstrates its lack of significance in the everyday life of most Arabic speakers. Nonetheless, literary Arabic is the language, uh, the language that the students are tested on when measuring their formal uh, language abilities and skills, reading, writing, expression, and uh, comprehension. Thus, literary Arabic became uh, an obstacle in the language history of the Arab students, rather than a native tongue acquired naturally. And the other reason related to the agent, I call it, agent, the teacher. I greatly appreciate the specific task of uh, the teacher of Arabic, and I'm um, personally familiar with the, at time, impossible condition that they have to work in. There are three major, uh, there, are, there are three major factors which uh, pre prevent most teachers, most teachers, from acting as an agent of change for improving, improvement in this crisis situation. The first one is the teacher as an agent. The Arabic language teacher, are, is, is, teacher is expected to transmit the young people a, la, a knowledge of Fusha, the written one. However, in many cases, young teachers themselves experience uh, uh, similar linguistic difficulties and sometimes they do not master the language th themselves. The difficulty is common to many teachers uh, uh, throughout the Arab sector. Not just the teachers who, who teach literature. Many teachers find it hard to express themselves uh, currently uh, uh, in Fusha. In fact, one can find many errors in the papers they distribute to uh, their pupils, spelling mistake, mistakes, grammatical mistakes, and so on. It's in Arabic. Those who have nothing can give nothing. The weak magnet factor, I, I call it the weak factor magnet. People with high personal and intellectual abilities generally prefer professions considered, uh, considered uh, profitable and uh, prestigious rather than teaching. The teaching prof uh, profession is not uh, usually, it's, it's, it's unusually uh, considered uh, desirable uh, uh, by today's young adults. And C, the default choice factor. This factor is, in a way, the outcome of the previous one. The entrance examination score required for most pre pre prestigious uh, professions in, uh, is very high. As explained earlier, most students do not achieve the necessary, uh, the necessary uh, score due to low reading and writing abilities and, uh, on the national psychometric examination. This difficulty, together with their uh, understandable fear of learning new subjects and doubtful ch changes of finding uh, appropriate uh, jobs, directs many young people to degrees in education in universities and teachers' college. This teaching becomes a default choice the default choice, rather than a calling. The graduated, the, the graduates uh, are not in a position to become to become agent of change. And re reasons uh, uh, related to the general uh, education uh, system in Israel. Following the theory of uh, Yuri Brenner, as you can see it, uh, the students in the, uh, is a part of an ecological environment. Students are influenced by and interact with the various system compri comprising uh, this environment. The microsystema, the mesosystema, the exosystema, and the, uh, the macrosystema. As I see it, all these systems and, uh, and spheres of, inf of influence surrounding the Arab student are to be blamed for the, the educational crisis mentioned earlier. I don't share the assumption that the government should be the only one, the only party to, be, to blame for this crisis. Not that I think that they are not to blame. Rather, I add to the Ministry of Education and the government of Israel a long list of other responsible factors. The homes, the schools, the local councils. I think ethno-linguistic vitality is relevant uh, constant he here. According to this approach, there is a direct link between the lingual vitality uh, of large ethnic uh, groups and their ability to preserve their native tongue and social identity. Therefore, since none of the af uh, aforementioned system considers Arabic as a critical social, political, or national factor, its status becomes less and less important. 
all the leaders of the exosystema and the macrosystema repeatedly state that they consider Arabic important and crucial. These statesmen do not stand up to the test of reality. And as a result, Arabic is not being probably taught to the young people of the Arab sector. In my humble opinion, it is national obligation first and foremost to empower the state, the status of Arabic among the Arab inhabitants of, uh, of the country. As I see it, good Arabic can create a citizen who can conduct meaningful, meaningful dialogue with the world, while faulty Arabic produces a shallow, introvert, and passive people. Crucial to this change, crucial to this change, are the teachers. Empowering teachers is, empower, is to empower society, and maybe this will be this will be the result. Thank you very much.